guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, 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 we got a special, special, special delivery coming in. It's gonna be one of those projects that we're gonna get in, get out, get done really quickly. Working again with one of our partners, Throttle. Gonna do something really cool for one of their giveaway cars. So let's get into the video. It should be here any minute. I saw the drone was up. Drone's up. Let's get to the drone footage. So the car is in the shop. You already know what's next. We're about to do disassembly video, but we're gonna focus on disassembly because with this car right here, we can't show you guys the color yet. So we still wanna put content out for you guys. We have to put content because you guys watch it, right? You guys watch it, you just like the video right now. You just liked it, thank you for doing that. But anyway, so we got Throttle's car in here. This is their giveaway car, so if you want a chance to win this, like they said, outside, there's a chance you could win this bad boy. Wrapped by Premium, built by Throttle, it's amazing. But anyways, so I was thinking about something different. Um, we really want to go into a full like disassembly video because we feel that we neglect Anthony a lot. So we need to give Anthony a shine. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna film Anthony, disassemble his car, he's gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to take apart this WRX, or is it, is it WRX? That's TI. Um, we don't want to mess that up. Oh, my bad. You own an oh, SCI. Oh. You don't want to be Did I just disrespect? No, all the SCI owners, I feel your pain, you know what I mean? Because they don't like to be called WRXs. They bought the SCI. It costs way more than this. They're dead, dead talking. We're going to end up with disassembly today. We're going to fully disassemble this car. I'm going to show you guys on exactly how to take every single piece off this car the right way. And then right after that, um, we're gonna be clay bar, we're gonna be prepping the car, you know, for wrap. Today's video, like I said, is just disassembly and prep. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with the roof, and what's on the roof is the antenna. This SI happens to have a, a vortex generator, so I'm gonna show you guys on how to properly remove that as well. These things are very hard to take off, and after that, we're gonna be moving on to the roof rails. All right, cool. Like and that. what I'm doing is pushing these taps forward and once it's off, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, cool. So after you push, I mean, yeah, after you push all the taps forward with the card, you're gonna grab a pry tool, you're gonna pry at this very corner right here. And there's gonna be a clip right there, if you can see it. It's down here, it's down here, right here. Yeah. That's there's a clip right there. So, and there's not one back there. And what you see on the bottom side is these uh, sliding tabs right here. So what I did initially was push these tabs forward and I'm using the card and the card is hitting the very corner of the tab and you're just pushing it forward. So these plastic tabs slide into these nubs right here. <laughs> that's a funny, <laughs> that's word. a funny word, nubs. And that's how you get off the roof rail. Super simple, easy to do. It'll take you probably five minutes if anything, you know, carefully doing it. And all you realistic, <clears throat> sorry, all you realistically need is a pry tool and any random card. So now we're inside the car, we're gonna take off the antenna and the only tools you need for this, uh, I don't have it, hold up. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, all right, you got it now? All right, we're back. But anyways, the only tools you need is a pry tool and a 7 8 wrench. So, I'm gonna start off by taking off the, uh, the headrest because you know it's gonna give me a little more room to go back here and the antenna sits about right here. There is a plastic hip right here and the antenna sits right here. And the reason why I'm taking out the head uh, headrest is so I can, you know, pop my head back here and see what I'm doing. All right, so this is when the pry tool comes into play. There's three clips right here. You want to jam your pry tool right behind the uh, the head of the clip. You can see it'll just come out like that. So we got three of them. Dark. Yeah, so it's a little too dark in here, but anyways, I'll pull out the bolt. There's only one bolt holding it. That's a 7 8 wrench that you're going to need. It's going to look like this. We're going to pull the bolt right now. You just want to pull the headliner down, reach in, and you're going to need a 7 8 at least this long because the bolt, like I said, sits right here. Alrighty guys, so here is the 7 8 bolt that I was talking about on the inner side of the, the, the headliner. So there's gonna be one 7 8 bolt in there and then two connectors up there. So we're gonna to go to the top side right now. We're gonna pull out the antenna and you guys are gonna see what I'm working with. All right, so we're gonna pull off the antenna right now. Cool, and then there's the two connectors right here. So initially on the inside, all I'm seeing is this down here. 
Um, I disconnected two wires and the bolt set like this. Perfect. So you just pop it off, right? Two connectors and then the antenna comes right out. move on to the doors and the doors are relatively simple we're gonna be taking off the uh, mirror the mirror base we're gonna take off the handles and this uh, this rubber trim right here all right guys so we're gonna grab our tools right now all I'm, all I'm gonna start with is grab a pick tool a Phillips head and a 10 mil or actually also you're gonna need a pry tool as well to pry off the doors cool so we're gonna go ahead open the door up Gonna grab the pry tool right here. There is a little um, cap right here that can pull off. That's why I have um, the uh, pick tool right here. Gonna pick that open and it'll expose the uh, Phillips head right there. There's also one more right here and that's gonna expose another Phillips head. And then, gonna grab the Phillips head right here. So now we're gonna grab our pry tool. I personally like to start in the inner corner right here once you pop one clip out the rest should be easy you can just pull it off with the rest like that now that the door uh door car is pulled out like that you now push upwards it comes off just like that that was very easy so now if you want to come back here we got two clips and two of uh the door handle uh, wires right here this one right here all you're gonna do is pull outwards like that and these come out very easily. Cool. Now, that's a, now those harnesses are released. I can take off the door card right here. Um, I failed to mention that there is a harness for the side mirror, so we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Just press on the tab and it slides right out. Just like that. Then gonna feed it into the door because it's gonna lead to the mirror cap. Now we're gonna take off the 10 millimeter bolt. There's one. And, you, and uh, if my Adrian, the cameraman, wants to hold onto the mirror, it's nice to have two people help you out with that. Cool, and then you can go ahead and pull it. Nice. Cool. And that's that. So we're gonna move on to the cap right here. I like to grab a pick tool. I like to just stab it in there. Carefully. Cool, pull the cap off and now the uh, T30 is gonna be exposed. Gonna go, go ahead and twist the bolt out. And you don't actually have to worry about it dropping into the door because there are stoppers which prevent the bolt from dropping into the door. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go on the inside right here. There is a yellow tab and also a, uh, a harness for that. So we're gonna grab our pick tool, go for the harness first, which is right here. Uh, this is the, uh, the keyless entry. Mm. So it's, it's for keyless entry, so you don't have to use your, uh, unlock your door, your door just does it when the key's nearby. Mm. So harness, plug, which is Anthony's grabbing, yeah. and there's obviously a screw. There's no screw. A torque. Yeah, so we got that out. Next, we're gonna pull this yellow lever down and out. This is what locks in the door handle. And now that we have that out, we can go ahead and go on the other side and pull out the door handle. There's that. Now we're going to pull out the handle. You're gonna pull forward and out. There she blows. Then don't forget to take off the uh, the plastic trims right here. You don't want to lose these. You're going to need these. This is what stops the water from going inside to your door through the handle. Alrighty guys, so we are on the back door now. Obviously there's no mirror on the side, but for this specific door handle, the back door, with these handles, there is no cap here. So instead, you have to grab a T30. Which, 
have to grab a T30 and drop this whole locking mechanism down just so we can reach a bolt that holds this cap right here. So you'll see in a bit. So we got the T30s off and you can see this little white plastic tab, or I mean, hold thing right here. You're gonna push that in and the whole lock will drop down, right? And if you look all the way in here where I'm pointing, I'm gonna use a tool to point to it. There is an LT30 right there that holds the cap to the door handle. It's super dark in there. Yeah. See it. So unfortunately on camera, you can't see it, but there is a bolt back there and you want to loosen that. And then same thing with the front doors and the back side, there's gonna be this yellow tab. You wanna check this out right here. You're gonna pull down and then out. And that's gonna release the door handle. Cool, so now we go to the front side. Same thing as front, you're going to pull forward and out. Yeah. And don't forget these bad boys right here. So, you know, after getting the door handle out, don't forget to put the locking mechanism back in. If you don't, you close your doors, it's not gonna close at all. Yeah, so we're gonna take off the side skirt first and then this uh, side garnish piece right here. But for the side skirt, it's relatively easy. On the bottom side, there's a bunch of clips that look exactly like this, right? And what we're gonna do is grab a flathead, jam into here, and then twist. And it'll just pop right out. Nice. And with the additional clip on the front and the rear, you have a clip here and on the far back that looks exactly like this. You're gonna grab a small Phillips head, gonna twist it like this and it'll just pop right out. Cool. Once you have <clears throat> removed all of the clips, you're gonna go ahead and pry back here with your hands. These are all just clips all the way through. It's like that. And that's how you get the sides here at all. Alright guys, now I'm gonna take off the uh, this side uh, fender uh, side fender garnish right here. Garnish. So you know the only way you can get these off is if you pull off the side skirt, because the side skirt sits right here on top of this bracket, so that you know it prevents the uh, side piece from falling out. So now we're gonna grab our pry tool, and pry these bolts out right here. Once you have the bottom ones pried, the rest will just follow. Yeah, so we're gonna move on to the front bumper. This one has a lip, but we're gonna take off the lip with the front bumper. Um, so you're gonna start off with a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts that run across the top side and a couple of clips as well. After that, we're going to remove bolts from the bottom side and clips. Um, that's the only thing that holds the bottom side. And then on the sides, on the sides there's gonna be one clip right there. Alright guys, so right here, this clip right here is very simple to do. All you have to do is grab something pointy and push the center of it in. Right, once, you, once it clicks in, you can go ahead and pull out the clip. So, you know, like I was saying, with this, right, you just grab something pointy and just push it in like that. And it will just release. All the bolts, all the clips off, we're gonna pull the sides out like this. There's gonna be three tabs that hold the side of the bumper in. And luckily, on this bumper, there are no fog lights, so you can just go ahead and rip it right off. Now we're gonna tackle the 10 millimeter bolt. There's gonna be one right here. And another one right here. So I think I lied, there's probably like six. Six of them. I'm gonna hold the headlight and then pull this bracket off right here. All right. We can go ahead and drop the bracket right there and go up to see if you take out the headlight. Once you're here, 
you're gonna see one major harness right there and I think that's it yeah that's it oh yeah. there you go <clears throat> cool and that's how you get it off it's a little difficult because it is really tight these uh, connectors right here but it's nice to have someone help you uh, hold the headlight while the other person goes for the harness let's do this for a little <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're going to move on to the rear tail lights and the bumper. You can see that Jack's already on it. He took out a clip. I'll show you guys right here. You're going to grab a um, pry tool. Give me one clip right here. Pull that bad boy out. Then all this will just pull back. And don't be afraid of, you know, forcing it back like that. It won't rip and it won't deform. So the tail lights will have three uh, eight millimeter bolts. Once you loosen them, they're, they're easy to take out after that. You just twist them out with your hands. So right now. All right, so we're going for the rear bumper and there's gonna be a bunch of clips just like the front side. All you gotta do is just pull all the clips off. I don't know how many there are. It looks like there's some missing. All right, so once you remove all the clips on the bottom side, what you're gonna do Go up top, grab a 10 millimeter um, uh, socket and just grab this bolt out. So one right there and one on the other side. After that, you can proceed to pull out the sides like this, yank it out. Make sure you have another person helping you. And you're gonna grab the bottom bumper and just pull it out. Alright guys, we're going to move on to the, uh, the spoiler right here, the SCI wing, and to start off, we're going to remove this panel with all these clips right here. So after that, we're going to pull this cap right here, Okay, cool. So, you know, like I said, luckily the posts are long, so the bolts aren't, you know, they're, they're not going to drop down right away once you're loosening it all the way. Okay, now, you want to make sure that the trunk is closed, and you're going to have someone help you. Can I say it? Can I, do I dare say it? We're going to yeet it off. And the reason why we have to, uh, you know, forcefully pull that up because there are three clips that sit down there. Alrighty guys, so that is it for disassembly. We're gonna move right into prepping the vehicle for wrap. Right now, Jack is cleaning off all the dirt. After that is done, what we typically do is alcohol wipe the entire vehicle, make sure that all the dirt is off and clean so that when they wrap it, you're not gonna see any dirt on there. You guys saw Anthony take apart this entire car and he did it pretty fast. So we cut it up. I mean, what? how long was it? Like an hour worth of content? How long did it take you to take apart that STI? STI? Yeah. Uh, like legit. Like legit. Like legit an hour? So it took about an hour to do everything that he did. He obviously had hands. But Anthony, thank you so much, bro. Appreciate your help. Couldn't have done it without you. He's just ignoring me. Well, I got a door panel, look. Oh, he's on to the next one. On to the next one. Stripping another car, because that's what we do here. Um, if you guys have any questions about dismantling a 2015 through 2021 WRX STI, I hope this video covered it. I think that we went pretty thoroughly over the major important components, door handles, wing, etc., bumpers. All of those things, if you're going to be wrapping your STI, your WRX, are very important. So, I hope that you guys got some value in this video. If you liked the dismantling segments that we put a lot of emphasis on in this video. Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more of this, we will do more. Um, what you got for me, bro? What you got over there, B-Rabbit? We're gonna, we're gonna wrap a Range Rover, right? We're gonna wrap a Range Rover. You're gonna wrap a Range Rover, right? I like Range Rover. We also got this thing over here, and we got the XF Jag Type Y. F type. <laughs> type Wrapping this one. So much content planned, so much content coming. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, comment below. If you didn't enjoy the video, hit the dislike button. If you liked it, hit the up button. Say something nice, say something mean. End of the day, we're going home. See you guys later. You leaving? What time is it? It's about to be three. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I'll see you later. <laughs> and, my, and the ends for the food.
What's that? The ends for the food. Oh, oh, that lunch that you gave me? You gave me your table scraps and you want to charge me? Hey, my tip? Five bucks, my less He wants a tip, yeah. yeah. He goes, yeah, I got some extra food. You want it? I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take it, you know? And then he just wants to charge me for hey, some gas. I got you, I got you. Come on in, I'll give you the tip right now. 